So in this lesson, we're going to talk some more about basic building blocks in AngularJS. And this time around, we're going to talk about some built-in directives. So what are built-in directives? Well, you've already used it twice. So ng-controller and ng-app are both built-in directives in Angular. They're merely directives that are available to you just by the virtue of you using AngularJS. They're all preceded by ng- hyphen, and they're all available without writing any code. Awesome. Let's use them to our advantage. So the first one we're going to talk about is one that you're probably going to be using a fair amount, which is ng-click. ng-click can be attached to any HTML element. So here we're just going to create a button, add ng-click. So ng-click, every time it registers the click event, it's going to evaluate whatever comes inside these quotations. And so it's very similar to interpolation. So let's give it a function to evaluate when you click it. So scope.inc equals function. So let's change value in integer and every time inc is invoked, we're going to add one to it. So let's set that on ng click, seems perfect. So inc, we're still displaying val. All right, let's test this out. So this is working properly. So now that we've got this working, let's throw in a couple more built-in directives. Let's use ng-show and ng-hide. So ng-show and ng-hide work pretty much as you would expect. ng-show evaluates an expression, and if it evaluates true, the element will show, and if it doesn't, the element will be removed from the HTML. And ng-hide will do the exact opposite. Let's use these in conjunction with what we've already built. Let's add some h2 elements inside our controller div. So h2 even and h2 odd. As you might expect, we want to show even when val is even, and we want to show odd when val is odd. ng show and ng hide. And as you might expect, these are exclusive. So if you were to pass the same expression to both, they will be toggled alternately, which is how exactly we're going to use it. Let's create a function, scope.isEven. Let's check scope.val, and if it's even, we're going to return true. If it's not, we're going to return false. Let's call isEven inside ng-show and ng-hide. Is even is going to be true when val is even. ng show is going to see that it's true. Even is going to show in h2. Otherwise, odd is going to show. Okay, well, let's see if this works. Refresh. This is working. ng show, ng hide, and ng click are all being used together. Great, this is working perfectly. It's worth mentioning at this point, since it's very important to set good practices early, that using methods and evaluating methods in state directives in the view is considered bad practice actually. And we'll get into the exact reason for this a little bit later, but it has to deal with a degradation of performance. So you actually don't want to be calling functions in some state things like this, whether this should show or hide. ng-click is okay because ng-click is only fired when the click event happens. But the reason it degrades performance is because of when ng-show is evaluated. And we'll talk a lot more about this. You don't have to worry about this, but just know that don't call functions in ng-show and ng-hide. What do you do instead? Well, that's a good question. Instead of giving it a function to evaluate, it's better to just pass it a variable. So let's just set scope that even equals false since one is obviously odd. And then instead of putting this in a function, let's get this. And inside scope.inc, let's do scope.even equals this. So obviously this is going to toggle. So this is a bit superfluous, but just for sake of the demonstration, let's go with it. Okay, so instead of calling is even, this doesn't exist anymore. We're just going to pass this scope.even. Scope.even is a Boolean. And it should operate in the same way since we're assigning it to the even variable. So let's see what happens. So hopefully this will work in the same way. So odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. Awesome. So this is working in the same way. And even though you won't see performance degradation now, it's important to set up the correct patterns in Angular that you will be seeing later.
This has been a further demonstration of some built-in directives that are another basic building block of Angular, and we will be going into some aspects of this more in-depth later on.